We're building a desk thing. We're building a desk shelf for my desk, and then we're building a super easy monitor stand for the server closet. Yes, sort of similar variations of the same project, just one is a little bit more complex than the other. Uh, what do you got? What's this? This is what my, is? this. Oh, is this, is this another project for me? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're never on the YouTube channel, so yeah, it is another project never, for you. Okay, fair enough. All yeah. right, let's do it, let's so, build it. Okay. We're building a monitor shelf. Essentially, it's just a shelf with a shelf. Yo, dog, I heard you like shelves. I put a shelf on your shelf so you can shelf all your shelves. <laughs> well, essentially, I'm making a... We are making a desk shelf to go on my desk below my monitors. There's a really awkward... Wow, thank you for blocking the light. There's... A... This is like the sound panel video all over again. We're making a desk shelf to go underneath my monitors because there's this really awkward gap between my desk and my monitors and I have nowhere to put stuff. So we're making kind of like a storage shelf, but we're custom making it because we wanted to fit the speakers in. So we needed something a bit larger, so we're custom making it for the desk. So we're building a desk shelf for the main workstation. We're building a monitor stand for the server closet. We're gonna bring you along in the process, but if you want the plans for the desk shelf or the monitor stand, they're gonna all be on our blog. Link in the description box, beckandchris.com slash blog. Okay, listen to those birds, babe. Springtime, finally. You know. This is the... The money shot one, the one piece of stock that you've got that you can't mess up. Okay. Oh, should we use this rustic no. wooden no. foot for no. your desk? No, this garage is a trash pile. Okay. You're a trash, <laughs> you're a trash pile. <laughs> Face is a trash pile. <laughs> you guys haven't seen this part of our home renovation yet, but we actually removed a bunch of built-ins in our living room. We saved all of the doors. And so we've just been kind of using them as scrap wood, wood pile to just do projects. Today we're gonna build the desk shelf out of these recycled doors. <laughs> What about what about this? The drawer fronts. You need a thirty-inch blank. Thirty-eight and a half. Oh, perfect. There you go. All right, ready to go? Are we ready? Do All we know right. what we're doing? We're gonna rip off the edges here. We're using this giant piece as the top of the monitor stand. The, the desk shelf, whatever you want to call it. Whatever your concoction is. This is our one big, big piece, so we have one go at this. First, gonna cut the edges off. There's these holes here we gotta get rid of. Yeah, it looks about right there. Nine inches. That's the depth of this. Nine inches is the depth. All right, man, that's your that's your measurement. Oh my cool. God, you're stressing me out. <laughs> One go. Oh my God. <laughs> Nine inches here, we're gonna use a three inch round over bit to round the edge. We start the leg a half an inch back from the edge. Uh, that'll give us a 1 8 inch kind of recess. So we're gonna make the legs eight inches and this is nine inches. That's a full ass inch. Yeah, but it's gonna be a half inch on both sides. So the desk shelf is gonna consist of a top shelf, two legs, a middle shelf, and then there's gonna be a back right here. We're essentially going to be building the top part. We're gonna round the edges. We're gonna put legs on it. A shelf here. And then there's gonna be a piece of wood in the back. So we're gonna attach it with pocket holes underneath here. We're gonna attach it with pocket holes underneath here. The back gonna look like this. And this is gonna be the backing. And we're gonna attach with pocket holes top and bottom here. I have a compressor for this. Accurate measurement. All right, shall we round this one out? Wow. Toy. Oh, Hang on. That's neat. So the boards are a little bit warped. That's what yeah. you get for reusing. Uh... Yeah, using scrap wood, old wood. I think when we screw it all together, it'll slide it, solidify everything. Could have squared everything up with a planer. Anyway. You work with what you got, man. A little bit of uh, character. Yeah. <laughs> it's all twisted. <laughs> it looked exactly like what I had in mind. Now we have to sand off all of this. Mm -hmm. We had to do some steam. <laughs> We actually made this ahead of time. It was just sort of a mock-up for what the fin finished sanded piece would look like. We'll use this for a stain test. If it stains evenly, we won't have to really treat it with anything. <laughs> Work.
Okay. When we decided to build this desk shelf, I kind of wanted a walnut finish, but we were using scrap wood from the garage. So we were kind of working with this like light maple. We don't know if it's maple or birch. Light. Wood. Sort of wood. Oh, we always recommend doing stain tests first before you actually stain your project because it will save you so much heartache when your stain doesn't look the way you want it to look. Oh God, it's so chunky. It's like poop. But we tried a couple of different techniques. First, we used a shellac as a base coat and then did the stain tests over that. Stains both looked exactly the same. I'm doing this side without the shellac and it is just soaking up the color. This looks a lot more like what I thought it was gonna look like. It's interesting how it's not even. I do not like this color. And then we tried a pre-stain treatment conditioner, which also didn't look great. And we were just like never happy with the color. Yeah, the shade wasn't really nice and it was always just kind of blotchy. Just got stain all over the lens. So I'm just gonna keep going. Hopefully it's hopefully it's okay. I just wiped it off. If you're doing stain tests or any stain projects with oil-based stain, make sure you don't ball up your wet rags and put them in the garbage because they can actually spontaneously combust. Lay them in like a single layer somewhere where if it does combust is not going to be a big deal. So I actually took all those stain rags and laid them in a single file out on the driveway in the sun and let them dry. And then once they were cured and dry, I disposed of them correctly. After dry fitting all of the pieces for the desk shelf, we assembled it to make sure everything fit and look good before we finalize finish. Yeah, so for this project, we attach them via pocket holes. So this company, Craig, makes little jigs. That they make the best stuff. Yeah, they, it's all very neat stuff, isn't it? It is. And it essentially allows you to join two pieces of wood together with sort of these hidden side holes. Actually left all the pocket holes open in the back because nobody's going to see the back, but we decided to fill the ones that you were going to see in the front just for like a cleaner look. Craig actually makes these pocket hole plugs. So we use those that would actually match perfectly. A bit of wood glue stuck them in. And then once the wood glue was cured and dried, we used a Japanese pull saw to saw off the excess. We were not happy with the stain at all. Once the desk shelf was kind of assembled, I actually really liked the way it looked natural. There's just this, this little quote that kept on playing in the back of my head. It's from NS Builders. Okay, first of all, NS Builders, if you guys don't know who they are, they are a YouTube channel. So good. Chef's Kiss. Where are they from? Boston? They are the definition of high-end finishing. I learned a lot of stuff from their channel. Yeah, they've been a great asset. We'll link to their channel up here. Anyway, or what did they in say? the description. They said, oh, don't they... try to fake a wood color with stain, just get the real wood. Right, yeah. So if you're trying to stain something walnut, like, just get walnut. Just get the walnut, it's gonna be more expensive. If you factor in all the time we wasted trying to get the stain to look right. Yeah, just it, should've got should've walnut. should've just gotten the walnut. Now, we didn't want to buy new wood. We were using scrap wood that we no, had left over. No, and that's the thing about this whole project. So we just clear coated the entire thing with three coats of a water-based matte polyurethane. The, so the finish on the wood, I like it too, actually. It's very natural, it's very flat. So while that cured for 24 hours, we moved on to this like easy monitor stand. So I actually did this project back in Vancouver. I needed to raise my old monitor up. And so I got some plywood and these feet from Ikea and just made this really super basic, easy monitor Just stand. some feet into a platform. I wanted to continue using something to that effect in the closet, but I really didn't want to use the plywood edge. I wanted to make something that looked cohesive with the desk shelf. So we used the same techniques to make the piece of wood with the sanding and the rounding and the clear coat. We took the feet off the old shelf and added it to the new shelf. What do you think, one inch in? Full ass inch. Full ass inch. Don't be so dramatic. Look, your eye standards, okay? Well, don't do it if you don't like it. You hate, yeah, you. I didn't hate the feet. What I hated about the feet was that the mounting plate was so big. I was gonna you like. You were being a real dramatic about it. I was it. gonna get the router and I was gonna route on a channel for the feet so they'd sit flush. And but I the like, whole this purpose. This is law of diminishing returns yes, at this point. The whole purpose of the project was to show a simple right. version of the desk shelf. So then, so then I was thinking, well, maybe what I should do is at least inset the feet so that the plate was closer in so you couldn't see it as easily from the bottom. But the, but the monitor stand was so small that going one inch on each side, <laughs> it made the feet the, were like, <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's don't do it a full ass inch. Do it next to the edge. So if you no. do the project, don't go a full ass inch on the inset. Put the little plates closer to the edge. It will look a lot better. It's because I was watching NS Builder. I was like, they would be wrong. They would be graves. so pissed. They're not If dead. they saw this, NS Builders is pissed. Look how cute it looks. It looks like the Mars rover. How do you feel?
feel about the project and how it turned out? Do you like it? I like how the monitor shelves turned out, the desk shelf. I'm not happy how the monitor stand. Because you don't like the feet. They're in the right position, would you? And they didn't have such fat base plates on them. You'd be fine. Yeah, I mean, they'd be fine. So you could always go and find some different types of feet to put on there. This is all about upcycling stuff we already had in our house. Yeah, we're using feet. everything we had. The reason why we wanted to include both projects in this video is that the desk shelf is a little bit more complicated if you are new to woodworking and projects. So the monitor stand just kind of allows us to kind of show you guys a simpler, easier way to get a cool result for a bit less effort with less tools. Really pleased with how the desk shelf turned out. It's actually exactly like my sketch. The reason why we didn't buy one was A, we wanted to fit the speakers in the sides. Now, People who are into audio are gonna say, your speaker placement is atrocious. Oh They've already yeah. said that on your room tour. I don't give a shit. We're not mixing like a masterpiece. No, here. yeah, like exactly. Daily, weekly vlog. Yeah, complaining about the placement, but you should also be complaining about the quality too, because yeah, they're like literally you're... cheap computer speakers. Yeah. Like also, who cares? Um, we also wanted something longer than what was on the market originally. I really didn't want my monitors to be wider than the desk shelf, and a lot of the desk shelves that are on the market now are a lot shorter, so we wanted to go wider with it. I also wanted to make sure that we had a place to put the dock, a place to put my notebooks. Previous setup, you had nowhere to store anything. Mm -hmm. Having just those shelves for some of the peripheral stuff on your desk. God, it makes such a difference. To put, it, like, to put it away yeah. and just get it off your desktop. It makes the place a lot cleaner. It does, for sure. So I sacrificed the vertical monitor to have this big, long piece. Because to me, at this point, um, a place to store stuff is more important than a vertical display. Desk shelf, on a scale from easy to difficult, where would you rate it? I mean, that's a complete subjective scale. I mean, it wasn't hard. There wasn't any like complex cuts. Mm -hmm. So I'd maybe say like medium. Intermediate level. Beginner to intermediate. Maybe. Beginner. You'd have to know how to use a table saw. Yeah. And you'd have to know how to do math. Some people might argue that's all beginner stuff. I think I could have made this without the rounded edges myself. Mm -hmm. I would have really struggled with the rounded edges. So for me, I would say this was an intermediate project. It's doable if you have some basic woodworking knowledge and some basic tools. Right. If you had your time back, we're just we're just looking at the desk shelf now, not talking about the monitor okay. stand. If you had your time back, mm -hmm. would you still make it or would you buy it? I'll never have that time back. And there's a lot of a lot of, a lot of sanding. Yeah. yeah. I would say two day, two solid days. Yeah. Work. I would definitely buy it. <laughs> yeah. But they don't come in the size that you want it, right? I know. The desk shelves that look like this go between two hundred fifty and three hundred fifty dollars. Do you think that's overpriced? I think it's a deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's better for one to buy the shelf. But I get like, you know, sweat equity and if you've got the time, you've got the skills and you've got the knowledge, then you can build it and you can theoretically save money, but you're just tra trading time for money. I do these projects because I love the end result of looking and be like, yeah, okay, cool. I made that. I'm proud of something I've crafted with my own hands. Oh, <laughs> nice. Just looking at the desk shelf, we already know what you changed about the monitor stand, the leg placement not a full ass inch. Okay, if you're gonna make this again, would you change anything? Just don't know if I... <laughs> you change anything? Yeah, I don't know. It, it uh, other ways you could do it is you could dish the pocket holes all together and mm -hmm. just screw them in from the backs of the boards, countersink the screws, and then just fill the screw heads with wood filler. But I do like the, the slick pocket holes hidden. I like that there's literally no holes on the top. I don't think I would change anything because I'm really happy with how it turned out. And looking back on the project, I'm glad we went with a light natural look because mm -hmm. a lot of people are pairing that dark walnut with dark wall. And so right. it's kind of a nice little contrast. It would have been fun to build it out of walnut just to build something with walnut. We learned our lesson that next time we do any wood projects, if we want to have a dark, nice look, we're gonna get the proper wood, even if it costs a little bit extra it's probably worth it. You nailed my sketch. Nailed it. Couldn't have done it without you. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if not, at least entertaining, hopefully. Again, if you want the plans to either project, they're all in the blog with, you know, the materials list and the tool list and the measurements, etc. So you say etc. What is it? Etc. Etcetera. Etcetera? Et cetera? Yeah, it's ET. Et cetera? Yeah. Et cetera. It's like if I said espresso. <laughs> <laughs> no, et cetera. Et cetera. That's Etc. Oh my god, that's why it's et etc. dot as a short Correct. thing. F me. Correct, etc. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Did you cut cheese? Oh, is that your mouth? It's more forceful. Okay, not the clown song, not the clown song. Nine inches. Nine inches. This is a book. I like your little <laughs> I like yours too.
people, people. Thumbnail. People. Are we yelling? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? I wonder if my tennis shot's up to date. <laughs> oh my God, Chris.